Hey, what's up guys? This is Brad with Spike Fitness and I just have a kind of a fast video for you. Um, I always say that hopefully I can make this one actually super fast. As you may be well aware, I recently purchased a new uh, new rack. This rack is the, the Titan T3 uh, from Titan Fitness and um, I've only had it for not even a week. Um, I did a video about getting it and kind of unboxing it and putting it together um, and um, very excited to have this in my home gym now. Um, one of the things that was mentioned in the video about the, the Titan Rack was the fact that for the, um, the spacings uh, for the um, J cups or for the support uh, bars, there's no numbering on the rack, right? So um, we'll get a little closer shot here in a second, but there is no numbering system on this rack like there is with some other, other racks. I know that's uh, companies like Rogue tend to do like a laser cut uh, into the rack, a numbering system, so that you can easily um, figure out, you know, which uh, which hole that you're in for the for the rack, and be able to make sure it's balanced. Um, this doesn't have anything like that, um, but I just wanted to do a real quick workaround, something that I'm doing on my own rack, and just maybe a suggestion for you guys at home if you happen to have the Titan T3 or you're looking to pick it up, and the fact that it doesn't have a numbering system is is a detriment. Um, we got a real quick solution for you and we're going to get into that right now. Alright, so as you can see, I'm just going at the top of the rack here. And this would be the first pin that you could utilize uh, for um, anything really. And so this will be, I'm going to start going top down. Uh, so I'm going to start with this one right here. And what I have is just a simple Sharpie. Right, this is a, uh, a silver a silver sharpie and of course on this black powder finish on our black powder coat this sticks out pretty good and so I'm just going to find this and the way that the J-cups sit here this side doesn't really get touched by the J-cup at all um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write a number here so on and so forth right so I'm going to continue to go down the whole rack on all four um, on all four pillars and get this numbering system just like this and that way it's an easy quick reference uh, for where to put the J cups and stuff. So, um, just wanted to find a just real easy, simple solution for not having a numbering system within the um, the holes for the the rack, and making sure that you just have that quick reference point, be able to make sure J cups are on the same on the same level, you know, etc. So, um, separately, I'm gonna go through all four uh, all four columns and, and get them all um, all numbered. That way, I have it there. Um, I chose to write it. In an area where the J cup doesn't doesn't typically touch, so hopefully it'll avoid wear and tear and rubbing off. If it does at some point in time, it's is pretty easy reapplication to be able to to have that reference point there. But this is just a real easy solution that I wanted to throw out uh, for you guys, just as your you know for for consideration. Um, obviously, there's a number of different ways that you could you know skin the cat on this, um, but this is just the way that I chose to go. Something real simple and easy. Uh, and hopefully, it's an idea for you guys at home. In the event that you have or are considering picking up the Titan T3. Um, I am really, really happy with this rack and it not having, you know, laser etched numbering system into it is not a big deal for me. Um, I appreciate the cost savings uh, that Titan offers uh, versus having all the bells and whistles like you might get with something like a, a Rogue rack or whatever. Um, and then also you're paying for the Rogue name as well, right? So the uh, out of pocket cost is, is quite considerable. So for me, for my purposes, you know, being I don't have all the money in the world to, to go out and dump into the most expensive rack in the world. Um, so I really do appreciate that Titan offers great quality equipment for a reasonable price. That's it guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop in the chat box below. I'll be sure to respond. Um, yeah. I want to thank you guys for continuing to support me in the channel with likes, shares, and subs. Definitely want to thank everyone who's joined the channel recently. It means a lot to me to have you join the channel and help us grow. Appreciate that a lot. If you've checked out a video or three and haven't joined up yet, I wish that you would. And uh, yeah, remember guys, no matter what it is you think you can't do, like, find simple solutions to little problems that you have. You gotta get in, train to spite. You're either gonna find an excuse or you're gonna find a way. And I hope that you guys continue to find the way. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.